welcome to American Baker in Germany. I'm Michelle, and today I am making my own birthday cake. That's not sad at all. <laughs> and I have chosen to make carrot cake with cream cheese frosting, and I am making it in the shape of a Fabergé egg, to kind of as an Easter celebration as well. So I'm really excited about this, so let's get started. I had baked a total of six layers of carrot cake for this cake and used five of them. I start out with a layer of four inch cake. Then top that with a seven inch layer. Then I add dowels and a board for stability. That will make this cake a double barrel cake. Then I add another seven inch layer, frosting, four inch layer, frosting, four inch layer. Then I carefully begin to carve the egg shape. I begin with the top half of the cake, tapering it down to the center. Then I taper the bottom half of the cake in the opposite direction from large to small. And I spend some time carving around until I'm happy with the shape. Then I crumb coat the cake in cream cheese frosting. smoothing it with a small offset spatula and chill it in the fridge for half an hour to allow the frosting to set up. While waiting for my cake to set up, I mixed my fondant colors. I wanted a deeper red leaning slightly toward burgundy, so I mixed a good amount of red fondant with a touch of black. When adding black to your fondant, always add a tiny amount at a time. A little black goes a long way. Then I add a bit of pink for more overtones. Then I mixed yellow and orange fondant to make a yellow orange that will later be painted gold. Then I frost my cake once more with more cream cheese frosting. The frosting recipe I came up with is stable under fondant, although cream cheese frosting usually isn't. Then I rolled out the deep red fondant and draped it over the cake. This cake was a challenge to cover because it was so tall. I smoothed it on with my hands the best I could, although the fondant tore at one point. And the farther down I got, the worse it looked. So at one point, I decided to create a seam around the middle. Most Fabergé eggs had a spot where it opened anyway. So I cut off the fondant that was still clean and could be used again, and peeled off the fondant covered in frosting. That fondant can't be used again and must be thrown away. I repaired the frosting holes and rolled out a strip of red fondant to cover the bottom half of the egg. I wrapped it around the cake and cut a relatively straight seam. I also noticed at this point that my egg was leaning slightly to one side. I decided the cake needed to chill a bit for it to lend it more stability. In the meantime, I used my clay extruder to create some lines of yellow-orange fondant. I made a handful of thin lines. And 
one nice thick line. Now that my cake is chilled for a while, I got it back out and trimmed the red fondant on a straight line. Then I place the thick line of yellow orange fondant directly over the seam. I added a thinner line on top of it. Then I placed a thin line at the base of the egg. Then I laid a thin line in a circle around the top. as well as a line between the top line and the center line. And another one between the center line and the bottom line. I filled in a few gaps at the back of the cake with some leftover piece of fondant. Then I began placing some X's in the middle of the cake. Then a V. And two I's. That makes 37 in Roman numerals, which is how old I'm turning. Then I began placing some small flowers around the top of the cake. Then more in the line below the Roman numerals. I used a fondant press mold to make the flourishes I used to surround the top of the cake. I think it gave it kind of a crown-like look. Then I added a few flowers to complete the row with Roman numerals. As well as the bottom row of the egg. I still had a thick seam though, which I chose to cover with a thick snake of fondant that's supposed to look like some kind of support for the egg. I added another about a third of the way around the egg on what I chose as the back. Then I painted the yellow orange fondant with gold luster dust mixed with clear alcohol. Painting fondant takes kind of a long time, so I sped up the footage to keep it from getting boring. If you like what we do here, consider subscribing for a new cake every week, as well as regular bonus videos with recipes and other tutorials. As a final touch, I placed a gold sugar pearl in the center of every flower and between each flourish. Music 
I love this cake. I mean, what is more elegant than Fabergé eggs? And personalized for my own birthday, yet an e a touch Eastery as well. I love spring, it's my favorite season. And what goes with spring better than eggs, carrot cake, and cream cheese frosting? Happy birthday to me! Visit our website, AmericanBakerInGermany.com, for a complete list of all our cakes and tutorials. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe!